Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a quartic equation. We have 1 plus x to the 4th power equals 7 times 1 plus x to the 4th power and we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, you probably already guessed, I'm going to expand 1 plus x to the 4th power using the binomial theorem. But x plus 1 to the 4th power is something that we're, we are more familiar with and they are equal. So instead I'm going to be using x plus 1 to the 4th power. That's going to give me x to the 4th plus 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x plus 1. If you're doing it the 1 plus x way, then you would have everything reversed. You would start with 1 and then you would have 4x, so on and so forth. Make sense? Great. Now, Let's go ahead and distribute the 7 and turn this into a full quartic. I was going to say quadratic, but it's quartic. 7x to the 4th plus 28x to the 3rd plus 42x squared plus 28x plus 7. And then if you put everything on the right-hand side, you're going to get 6x to the 4th after subtracting 1x to the 4th. And then plus 28x to the 3rd plus 42x squared plus 28x plus 6 because we're subtracting 7 minus 1 and this is equal to 0. Notice that we can divide everything by 2. So this becomes 3x to the 4th plus 14x cubed plus 21x squared plus 14x plus 3 equals 0. Awesome. Are we going to use the quartic formula? No, that's going to be complicated. Time consuming. There's actually a better way. Since this is a polynomial with symmetric coefficients, and what do I mean by that? Take a look at this. We have the 3s and the 3s, and then we have the 14 and the 14, and then in the middle, we have a single term, which is 21. But that's okay, because it's in the middle. Okay, so it's kind of like reflexive, right, isn't it? Or symmetric. I guess symmetric is a better word here. So what happens is we can go ahead and divide everything by x squared, which is this term in the middle, by the way. If you divide everything by x squared, you're going to get 3x squared. Let me write it down here. Divide by x squared. So you're going to get 3x squared plus 14x plus 21 plus 14 over x because you're dividing by x squared plus 3 over x squared equals 0. Now, we're going to go ahead and do the following. We're going to pair up the good terms. There's a reason why those coefficients are equal. For example, this one and this one goes well together. So I'm going to write it as 3x squared plus 3 over x squared. And then 14x goes with 14 over x. And 21 is a constant, so it's going to be left alone. Make sense? Now, here's the critical part. We're going to go ahead and factor this, take out a 3. And then uh, we're going to use a little bit of algebra. Hopefully you notice what I'm about to do. And now we can go ahead and use substitution and call this something. How about y? Okay, you can use any variable. And if that's equal to y, think about it, you can go ahead and square both sides. And that's going to give you x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 equals y squared, which means x squared plus 1 over x squared is going to be y squared minus 2. So this is going to be y squared minus 2. And then we can now go ahead and use the new variable, distribute everything and simplify. That gives us 3y squared minus 6 plus 14y plus 21 equals 0. Obviously, that is a quadratic equation, a lot easier to solve than a quartic, right? By using this special type of substitution. By the way, the substitution is available because we had a polynomial with symmetric coefficients. When we do the second method, you'll see how that plays out. Okay? Now let's go ahead and you know combine like terms here and solve this quadratic equation. To solve this, you can use a couple different ways, but one of my favorite methods is the x method, and here's how it works. You multiply 3 times 15, which gives you 45. You put that number here. And the number in the middle is going to be the sum you put here. So basically, I'm supposed to find two numbers whose product is 45 and whose sum is 14. And those numbers are 9 and 5, right? Those are easy to find. So that means I'm going to split up my 14 into 9 plus 5. That's what it means. So now let's go ahead and see how that works. 3y squared plus 9y, because 9 plus 5, multiplied by y, plus 5y plus 15. Now, 
This allows you actually to factor this by grouping and get a common factor. So let's see how this works. 3y times y plus 3 plus y times, I mean 5 times y plus 3 equals 0. And from here we get y plus 3 times 3y plus 5 equals 0. And from here we get two solutions. This is quadratic, very easy. Uh, by the way, you could also use the quadratic formula. You didn't have to factor. But we get negative 3 and negative 5 thirds as solutions. But what is y? Let's go ahead and back substitute. y is x plus 1 over x, right? So let's go ahead and replace y with x plus 1 over x in both places. And we should be able to solve for x from here. The problem is you're not always going to get real solutions. Because if you work the first one, you're going to get uh, from the negative 3. Actually, you're going to get um, real solutions from here because it's going to give you this. And from here, x values are going to be negative 3 plus minus root 5 over 2. So those are real values. Good. Let's save them. Now here, though, you're not going to get real solutions because your equation is going to be like 3x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals 0. And the x values from here are going to be negative 5 plus minus the square root of 11i divided by 6. And obviously, those are going to be non-real complex solutions. But this is a cortic. There are four solutions. Two of them are real. And then you're probably thinking, there must be an easier way to do this, right? But let's see if it's easier. So here's the second method. We have 1 plus x to the fourth equals 7 times the quantity 1 plus x to the fourth power. So since we were able to kind of manipulate it as a symmetric polynomial, we could also do the following. Divide both sides by x squared. And then this is going to give you x squared plus 1 over x squared on the left-hand side, which is promising, right? And on the right-hand side, I want you to do the following. Write this as 7 times 1 plus x squared divided by x, and all of that is squared because we have a fourth power. And that's the best part because x squared plus 2x plus 1 divided by x is going to give you x plus 1 over x plus 2. But remember that is squared and multiply by 7, and then that becomes equal to x squared plus 1 over x squared. So this is what happens after dividing both sides and arranging the terms. Notice that our x plus 1 over x pops up again. You can call it something, I don't know, u maybe, z, whatever you like. And this is going to be u squared minus 2 as before. You're going to get u squared minus 2 equals 7 times u plus 2 squared, which is u squared plus 4u plus 4. And then you're going to proceed the exact same way. But of course, u is going to be the same as x plus 1 over x, which is like before. So y and u are actually equivalent in this sense. All right. So basically, that's what the answers are going to look like. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.